Oh, you little da da One, two, three! Oh, yes! <laughs> you brute. <laughs> Lovely. Yeah, right. Welcome back to Fable. Uh, let's play Fable, Fable 3, folks. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I did some uh, looking into that thing, uh, the problem I had with the quest log. That being that there isn't one. And apparently, I simply haven't unlocked it yet. What? So I will uh, keep doing main quest things until I find that, I guess. Weird. I'm not really a big fan of when things are disabled until you uh, unlock them via tutorial. Then no, that's just a chicken feather. But uh, some bloke came in the other day, tried to sell me his knockoff watch. Still pointing over to the uh, the demon door, I stuff. think. So come here and. Hey! Ah, here he is. We were just talking about you. Indeed. We have made a toast to your stupendous feat in ridding Miss Peak of Saker and his men. Yeah, about that. They have been a source of great distress for some time. Nobody will be more pleased than Sabine. His dwellers might find some peace now. Of course. Nobody has suffered more than they. I've been telling Samuel here about the terrible situation they're in. He thinks he may be able to help. Do tell. Uh, yes, well, uh, uh, perhaps. I, I mean, of course. Uh, the thing is, as I was just explaining to Sir Walter, uh, Brightwall has no overabundance of resources itself. The king's levies are rather steep, and we face shortages more often than... Murder the tax man! But, but were you to improve things around Brightwall, uh, the people would be most grateful. And when people are grateful, they're also Okay, define charitable. improve. I'm sure they would find it in their hearts to send aid to those poor people. There you have it. The way I see it. You will need all the followers you can get if you're going to lead a successful rebellion. What better time to start? I heartily agree with Sir Walter. Pardon me for overhearing. As it happens, I've learned of a promising method for amassing followers. If you'll return to the sanctuary at your earliest convenience, I can show you what I mean. Thanks for coming. Abracadabra. Ah, now, the box says there is an additional rather amazing capability. Oh, well, there you go. The sanctuary this is probably what that is. It can help you find people who are in need of a hero. An excellent way to gain followers is by helping villagers in need. Take a closer look at Brightwall, and I will explain more. You can now see the villagers in need. You can also see how many followers you must amass to impress Samuel and the people of Brightwall. Select a villager to help. By doing so, you will gain the respect and loyalty of others in the region. Well, Stamos. Who you wish to assist. Doing so will gain oh, I can't actually leave this screen. Okay, Lambert and Pinch need help putting on their play. Bernard and Patsy's chickens have run them out. You know, let's just go with that. By completing quests for those in need, you will prove your abilities and demonstrate your potential as a leader. Hunter's Lodge Deed? That might be handy if I knew where the Hunter's Lodge was. Awesome. <laughs> Apparently we're doing that instead of uh, a thing I just selected. Hello there. Please, you've got to help me. I'm so worried. It's my daughter, you see. 
I can't find her. The little scamp is always going off on her own, having adventures and whatnot. Always comes back after a while. Well, I really it? should do that, but it occurs to me that hours. since I have no idea where this uh, hunter's lodge is, I should uh, probably go there at least once to make sure I can find it again. Why Lion had to just give me a house? Feels cold on my gams. will not be an ideal house for moving into with the family, since it appears to be in the middle of nowhere. What an out of the way place. Oh. I didn't know you could do that. I mean, I know I could do that. I didn't know you could do that. a house you own is a fantastic way to make money. Real estate is always in demand. Weird. This is an actually really nice place. Auroran men's sandals, men's bracers, men's hat, men's waistcoat, and men's trousers. Tell you what. You have several new suits. Those will make dressing easy. I saved this outfit yet? Yes, I did. Why do the colors look wrong? Well, I guess they don't. Splendid. I wondered how all the bits went together. The overall effect is really quite excellent. Huh. Not really my thing. Would I ever go to Aurora? Maybe I'll keep that in mind. I really need to remember I don't need to run out there anymore. Oh, that's kind of amusing. There doesn't actually seem to be a way up there. Oh good, the stairs are running outside of the house. That makes perfect sense. This is the tiniest bed. Uh... 
Ah, that's much better. Yeah, that's where the kid's supposed to sleep then. What is it, boy? A severed arm. I have no doubt. You need more followers. Try influencing them. Aha! If you find we're out of stock on anything, Gotcha. All right, I feel better about that then. There are new. Does seem kind of ridiculous that I have to do this. Oh, I don't need. Uh, whatever. At least the loading Did screen was a uh, blink of an Did eye. You bring anything? Yes, I brought my dog, and I brought my sword, so don't try to eat me. I wonder who lives over there. Another wedding ring. Plus side, now bigamy is an option. Alright, I will jump cut past me turning in those uh, items, and then we'll go help those people with their chicken thing. expecting to see the sign saying Adria the Witch. Jump cut! Okay. Ah, So much for chicken kicking. I'm now friends with Jen and best friends with uh, Frank. You know what occurs to me? There's a benefit to having to directly interact with all these people. One of the more irritating aspects of uh, Fable 1 and 2 was that you would do a dance in Town Square and people would literally fall in love with you. So I'd be out on a date with my wife and uh, two or three people would... Uh, start bugging me about proposing to them. Oh, this is terrible. Somehow the gate got open, and all of my chickens have escaped. I don't know how they did it, those chickens. And maybe I never will. Chickens are extraordinarily clever. Will you find the buggers for me? Right, you'll need this. Contrary to what most people think, chickens are very, very crafty. You're kidding, right? Don't fall for any of that. Come here, chicky, chicky. I've got some lovely treats for you. Oh no, too smart. You have to defeat them psychologically. Now, they won't remain one concentrated force. They'll have redeployed into groups of three or so to maximize their tactical advantage. When you find one of these squads, flap your wings and such. And they should follow you back here. But don't let them try to negotiate with you. 
You do not want those little buggers inside your head, believe me. Oh, Lord. The things I do for my kingdom. Welcome to the sanctuary. You've a new suit in your wardrobe, a new feathery suit. Really? There's a crown on. Great. You're dressed as a chicken. What are you? What are you? What are you planning to do, dressed as a chicken? Oh, your guess is as good as mine. Yay! Quest. Oh, Andy. And now the chickens are singing. Use the chicken suit to get them to follow you. It's a bit crazy, just crazier. You're doing great. We can't afford any mistakes now, or the entire operation will be compromised. Kind of noticed that they literally ran right through the gate, so that might be your problem. My problem, of course, is that I'm dressed as chicken. I think there were some over this way. Chicken Chaser was the very first title you had in Fable 1. You should keep checking my shop. You never Come know when I might have a sale. You're sure to find something. Do I really look like the kind of person you want going to your store? Aha! Chickens. I really like how the uh, sound effects are of dudes making chicken noises instead of just chicken noises. Oh boy. There's going to be talk in this town on my coronation day. Best establishments in Brightfall. The default title in Fable 2 was uh, Sparrow, but that was literally because it was a nickname your uh, sister gave you. Well done. Their reign of terror is over before it began. Alright, see if you can find some more. See, those are actual chicken noises. Let's try over this way. Oop. <laughs> this is the dumbest quest. <laughs> That's all of them. At last, the town can rest easy. Oh, Bernard, you've got to lock them up again. This isn't right. They deserve to be free. 
Uh. You're always on about the chickens and their freedom. You know what I think? Really? I think it was you let them out. You're right. I admit it. I couldn't live with myself any longer being complicit in this chicken oppression. But they might have destroyed the entire town. Possibly the world. They might have gone off to live peacefully on their own. They might have created great works of art or literature. We don't know. And we have no right to take away their fundamental liberties based on our own prejudices. Hey, guys. Now it's clear, taking away their liberties You can't tell what I'm facepalming right now. You'll try to facilitate another escape. And that means the only choice is to kill them all. Oh, no, Bernard. No, don't. All right, keep them locked up, at least so we can talk about this. This almost feels like a parody you lived among of the, uh, you know the bad moral anyway. choices from the other games. What's to be done? It's a simple matter of kill or be killed. No, Bernard, they're not like that. Oh god, they're both lunatics. I think Let she's... Live, Bernard. Let them live. Oh, what the hell? Let's just uphold the status quo. Over my shoulder. All right. We'll let them live. But only if you swear never to let them out again. All right. All right. We'll work this out. I hope I haven't made a terrible mistake. But if I killed them, I would just make them martyred. Your acts have laid you a legend among chickens, assuming they possess any capacity for higher cognition. They almost certainly don't. Oh, I just don't know about this. It's what's best, Bernard. I'm definitely it's putting the right on the wall of my house. Do. I wish I could believe that. I really do. Now we just have to figure out a compromise. Haven't I compromised enough? We need to figure out a way the chickens can get the most out of their lives while still making you feel. Oh, you're that Bernard. The, one, the letter was making fun of. Welcome to the Sanctuary. Every time he says that, I think of an old line from a video game that I always liked. Welcome to the factory, where the work is hard, the pay is low, and the condition is miserable. And the conditions are miserable. Bleh. Uh, no thanks. I'm already there. We'll go see what that guy wants, and we'll change into something less ridiculous. I hope everything is in order. Where did I put that? Oh no, over here. Oh no, that's right, I can just use these. I did wonder if you'd go back to that one. Jasper worries sometimes. <laughs> Any other business to attend to? That appears to be all of the gifts. Gnomes are great. I can't wonder... I wonder which part of town this will take me to. I'm almost outrunning the, uh... the breadcrumbs. You won't find anything better in all of Brightwell than the stuff I'm selling right here. Ah, it's you, the chicken savior. Oh God, no! Now I have a reputation. Oh God, I hope this isn't spread. Once word gets out that that's your thing, you don't get to have another thing. Whoop. Oh, hello. Mmm, lovely, aren't they? I've collected gnomes since I was a lad. He's my dressed like one of them. It was unhealthy. It made me take stock of my life, and I realized I had to make a change. So, I cut off all contact with them. <laughs> now it's just me and the gnomes. They're my best friends, especially Jonathan. He's like a brother. I, I would actually die for him. It's his birthday today, you know. I ordered a special present for him and everything, but it, it, it never got here. You, you couldn't find out what happened to it for me, could you? Are there any quests in this game that aren't for lunatics? Fine. Great, great! 
Now, this package, like I said, it's very special. I ordered it from a catalogue. It was very expensive, but then this is Jonathan we're talking about. He deserves only... Oh, yeah. Now, Gotta do the best for Jonathan. The, catalog, the delivery coach travels through Misspeak Valley. Maybe they lost a wheel there or something. It, it's a good place to start looking around anyway. <sighs> In the next episode of Let's Play Fable 3, we go to Miss Peak Valley to find this man's gnome's birthday present. Oh, Lord. At least you're not crazy. <laughs> Ah, oh, who's my best friend? Yeah. <laughs> I'll see you then, Burning Dog fans. Later.